up everybody you guys thought that i was missing you guys video never on earth here i am to share with you guys some little tips on how to find very cool products for a makeup kit if you make a party so just for regular basis at more shows yeah i stopped there today and i was browsing as always in the rack for makeup because usually you can find very good products for cheaper prices prices that you would find on retail stores or even online so one of the good tips about it is that now marshall's has lipsticks from mac cosmetics with a very nice discount so usually you would buy uh, a lipstick at mac for about 16 to 18 dollars and this came up from 7.99 ranging to um eight nine nine dollars so let me show with you what were the colors that i got today i got some very basic neutral colors this four right over here i hope the camera will focus on that but let me show you what i got i have can you tell 558 which is a more creamy formula look how cool this color it's a little coral but then when you apply it's more on the rosy side of it and it's glossy so it doesn't look too heavy on your lips it's not gonna make your fine lines to pop as much and keep your lips hydrated then next up is bronx which also on the same side of neutral colors let me see i love my lipsticks personally I've been using since 2014 and that it's my favorite on my makeup kit if you ever ask so this one is more like a matte formula let me see how it looks I love it because it's a very very modern color very trendy which is more like a, a top brownish purplish hint on the back side of it which is gonna look beautiful if you're looking for um, neutral tones on your eyes and even a little bit more monochromatic type of look i've seen this a lot lately and you can also see this in a lot of my productions but not from this brand i have one that is pretty similar but a little bit more creamier from patrick ta beauty none of these products have been paid to talk about so this is my personal experience with that i hope you guys like it okay let me see what is up next i have cream in your coffee who doesn't like it unless you're lactose intolerant which i'm not so this is kind of like the last one i just showed but with more creamy formula I think one on top of the other is just gonna look stunning. Uh, even if you do this matte color underneath and then you go with the creamy formula on top just in the center to give that bright shine fresh look to your lips. I love those colors. Can't wait to try them out. And last but not least, we have Powder Kiss Liquid Lip Color Clear Olive Je parle le français. Uh, <laughs> so that's the bottle. It's quite different than the other ones because it's a liquid lipstick. And I love the way this, this tongue pops. And kind of reminds me the uh, previous colors that I was already sharing with y'all. But it's the perfect blending of these two latest ones. You see it? These two right here kind of blended together is gonna give you this one which is a matte formula and I would love it so this was a little bit pricier for $8.99 which is nothing at all I think like a Mac I don't know but on the website you may check this for like 18 before taxes another tip for you guys is go on the brushes if I was trying to renew your brushes we can now find Sigma Beauty at the racks on Marshalls. Let me show the ones that I got. So I got three of them. I'm kind of like struggling to get this other one out of the box. Oh, finally, 
It's 2022. Nobody should be stuck inside any boxes or closet or anything like that. So get out. These are the three choosing ones for today. This little one, synthetic fiber, you can always distinguish based on how it shines, like in comparison to a natural fiber that doesn't shine as much. And normally you're gonna use the synthetic brushes for creamy formulas. So it doesn't get stuck on natural fibers and doesn't ruin them. It doesn't create fungus or whatever other bacteria in your makeup kit. So that's a little tip right there. So this one, I got it, it's a very sharp cut. And I thought about getting this to do lines such as like a contour in the nose, when you have a very good blending technique already. Otherwise, you're gonna get those lines and nobody deserves contour with lines. So be very careful when you're using that. I may also use to create a very sharp cut crease sometimes or work with this little tiny tip in little corners, I think that's gonna be very valid. The brushes came out for $9.99 each one of them. Let's see the other ones. This is kind of like the same shapes, but with different sizes and different fibers. This is natural fiber for powder. This is um, more synthetic. They can also use for powder, but if you have to use for creamy formulas, you can also do that. This, I like to clean a little bit of the powder when you deposit to set um, the fine lines underneath your eyes, little edges, or even if you wanna do a very blended contour without creating the harsh lines, you can always do with that as well. Some people like to use this to apply a little bit of um, highlight, on the three dimensionalities of your face. That's completely up to you. I'm very versatile in terms of my brushes, so I use them for everything. I'm actually pretty versatile with everything, if you know what I mean, in my makeup kit. Like, I like to use lipstick as an eyeshadow, eyeshadow as lipstick, um, contour as eyeshadow, or powder, or just to fix eyebrows. I like to play around, I'm an artist, and that's what makes so much fun to work with makeup. This other one is basically the same thing, very fluffy, and you can also do a little blush, very romantically deposited on the cheekbones, which is very, very trendy right now. We were so used to limit our blush, contour, and highlight into the arch of your um, eyebrow right over here. So you can see from the sides, but from the center you could barely see anything. But a California and LA type of vibe took over the whole industry. And now we're bringing this a little bit more towards the center of your face and sometimes a little hint on the tip of your nose and the tip of your chin. That brings a kind of like a sun kiss type of vibe for your makeup look. Now some tips that I like to share throughout showing all this, which is the main purpose of this video. And I also got this little kit from Still. It comes in this little cute box. It cost me uh, $12.99 before Texas and comes with three creamy um, shimmery eyeshadows. The colors are Starlight, Grace, and Kitten. And let me try to show you guys but it's always possible to google those colors and then you're gonna see with better um, definition than on my camera remembering that i'm recording this with the 13 pro max from mac which also is not sponsoring my video unfortunately maybe one day so these are the colors and they're gonna look pretty on whatever eyelid very bridal very harmonic and i would love to start using them but as whatever other creamy eyeshadow i always like to go with some other powder eyeshadow kind of matching or a little bit lighter just to make sure that it's not going to run to the fine lines and therefore you're going to also create a water resistance formula for your makeup which is what we always look for. And last but not least, I found this cute 
um, makeup palette. It's called Sunsetter from Becca Cosmetics. Look how beautiful this is. Looks so, so summery. And let me show you the colors. I'm trying to do like this so you don't have to see the mirror, I think. So the color is gonna be Calypso Coral Vava Bloom Escapist, Escapist, and Escapist is funny. Escapist and Gold Trotter. And as I said, as I said, at the beginning of this video, getting the little bit smaller powder. Let's try some of this right here on top of my cheekbones. Uh, don't worry, mom, I'm not going trans. I'm okay with my definition. So I mix this too. Let's see how it looks. Mm. That looks cool. Let me move my hair. Mm -hmm. Look, something that I like to do to make your lips look a little bigger is give a little hint right here. You see how it shines? And then when you put your gloss on top, it just kind of like intensifies the effect of your gloss and it makes everything beautiful mm. top of the bridge center of your eyebrows very little so it doesn't look like you're frying your frying an egg in the middle of your forehead and a little hint on the other side it comes with very versatile colors that's a little bit goldish deep brown color a little peachier and this very classic, um, how can I say, beige type of color. But I always like to mix them and just get different shades when we're talking about cheekbones because they are the most um, upper bones of our face and gives a lot of personality. And whoever sees you from different angles is gonna be able to see different colors and that's what makes everything so personal and so personalized for your makeup so all of these products came up to 124 dollars obviously i got something else which was a big jar with uh, cotton tips and cotton pads and cotton balls just for my makeup kit and which cost me 20 dollars so taking that away all of this came up to less than $100 before taxes at Marshall's. So if you guys want to follow those tips, go to Marshall's, take a look on that rack. Let me know if you ever found some new products over there. If you like the type of video, please leave a comment. Let me know if you have one of these products on your makeup kit or on your makeup bag and share with me whatever you wanted to see on our next video. Thank you guys and see you next time. Bye-bye.